hello guys welcome back to the channel so in this tutorial we're going to continue what, with our introduction to databases uh with mysql so in this tutorial we're going to be looking at common table expressions and how common table expression expressions work okay so if you are new to the concept of couple uh common table expressions no worries this is what we're going to be covering in this video okay so what is a, a, tem a common table expression also co commonly called a cte okay so common table expressions or common table expression cte okay so these are used to specify temporary temporarily named uh, result sets aka uh, temporary tables or uh, derived tables they're also called so they're also called uh, temporary named uh, result sets or they're also called temporary tables or derived tables so if you want to generate a table that is only going to be temporary it's not going to the table that's going it's not going to last for a long while it's only going to be temporary in the computer's memory that you want to use that table to uh, perform a certain query and once you're done performing that query you don't have any use for that table anymore you can go ahead and delete it right and that's the whole point of a temporary table some sometimes you want to store data temporarily in a table just in the computer's memory after that you are done you can go ahead and delete it and you can achieve that using a cta okay so uh, let's go ahead and jump into the code right here okay so you can see I have this code here on my desktop and uh, sorry on my uh, workbench, I mean my actual workbench. And if I execute this code, it's going to return to us all the uh, the order details from two the year 2003. And you have looked at this a couple of times, okay? So we get back, back the information from the year 2003, okay? So one thing you can look, you can notice in here is that we have this subquery in here, right? We have a subquery in here, okay? We're using a subquery, okay? One of the one of the imagine some sometimes your subqueries can become really long, really complicated many lines of line long putting them in within another query can make it difficult to read okay so what if we we have another table we called because you're calling this temporary uh, uh sub query you're calling it uh as S, uh, sq which is sub query table right i just give it a, a name and as as uh, uh, sq a table imagine this imagine that we had this and another temporary table called sq table meaning that we don't have to put this query in there we can just go ahead and have this it's like this and it will still work and that's more neater and more clean right but now that you're using a, a subquery, then our code has to look like which is really bad, right? So having having to move this to another uh, another place, uh, which we're going to call it a temporary table, and just simply pass the name of the temporary table in here makes makes it the, the this makes the this looks like you're working from, with another table, which is actually just temporary, right? And it's just a better option to do than to have a subquery in here because subquery sometimes can get really really wrong. So just think of this subquery putting this subquery into another table that's only going to be temporary okay okay so it's only going to be it's only going to be temp it's meaning uh, what i mean by being temporary meaning that it's only going to be this table that table that we create using a cte is only going to be available until the end of a scope of a single statement meaning that if you start the statement from here and we end it here then the this the 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 CTE or a common table expression can only be available within that scope. Outside of that scope, meaning that if I try to get uh, the temporary table outside of this scope, it won't work. Okay. So uh, enough of the, the like this, like the talking. Let's actually just jump into the code and see how we can convert this right here into uh, a temporary table. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to move down here and just uh, let me just make some comments right here. So this is going to be a temporary table a CTE, right? Common table expression, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that code right here. So what you want to do is to move this right here into its own temporary table and give it a name. So I'm just going to go ahead, copy this from here. I'm just going to cut it out and I'm going to go up here. I'm going to say with, so we use the with keyword to generate a temporary table. So with followed by the name of the order of the table. So I'm going to call it SQ, uh, SQ underscore, uh, it's not sub query. So let's say seat, let's call it order and underscore CTE, right? And give it a name as, and pass in the parentheses. And instead of the parentheses, so you go ahead and paste the code that we just copied. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it right here. Let me delete this uh, this from here. I don't really need it. So I'm going to delete this right here. So I have the CTE right here. So by doing this, I have created a CTE, which is called order CTE. So I'm just going to say, select everything, all the columns from, now I'm going to use my template, which is going to be called order underscore CTE. Okay, so once you set that order CTE, I don't really need this uh, a statement. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete it right here. So I have this the query. So let's say with uh, order with order uh, CTE as just this whatever or whatever uh, record you're going to get back from the order table, which is going to be all the columns. We're just going to be storing it in the temporary uh, temporary table called uh, or CTE called order detail. Uh, basically order underscore CTE. Now we need to select everything from order CTE because this order CTE basically now it's a table. Right, my SQL sees, sees it as a table, but this table just exists temporarily within the computer's memory. And outside of this scope, outside of where this ends, we can't really uh, access that temporary table. Okay, because only it's only available 
with the, within the scope of this single uh, query statement so once i have this let me just run it again and let's see what we get uh we didn't get back any results so okay here i have made an error so now i'm going to change all this to now uh cte so i'm going to change this okay so once i have that let me just run this again because now our table is now called uh, order underscore t so now that should be the it so if i run a code you can see now we get back the results right there so great that's basically how uh, uh you can create a city or what you call a temporary table in my sql okay so once we have that done that's basically it and you can see our code is much much easier to read because now we're just focusing on this section and the sub query is on its own up here okay so what if i want to try to access this temporary table so if i copy this and i try to say select uh let's say select uh everything from the table I just copy right if i try to execute this let's see if it's gonna work so execute uh it works also it actually returns to us the uh the, the, the information that we want okay but this table this really shouldn't be working because if i just go ahead and uh, ex execute it right here this should actually return to me an error you can uh, you can see i have the error right here okay it doesn't have this order this table okay so the first time you just ex i don't know it i think it's, uh, it executed this code but now if i rent again you can see you're getting an uh, an error right here down this table doesn't really exist so if i select this execute it again now you can see we still have the error because we don't have any table called order underscore cte within our tables right here that's why we're getting that error because this temporary table only exists within the computer's memory and once you're out of this of the scope of a single uh, query statement then that table is dropped it doesn't exist anymore so it only exists from this start until where the semicolon ends outside there we can get access to a common uh, a temporary table so now that you're taking a look at how this cte's work and how you can use temporary tables uh, cd is a, a temporary table or a derived table let's go back to the slides and let's see so in this slides i have this right here and this is called multi having multiple temporary tables in a single uh, query statement so in a single query statement we can have multiple uh, uh statements we can have multiple common tables or a cte's okay so let's see uh, this is basically how it can be done and i got this code from the sql official documentation and this is how we can create a cte having multiple temporary tables okay so i'm not going to demonstrate this in this video but in uh, as upcoming uh, we go along we'll, co we'll come across situation whereby i use multiple uh co multiple temporary tables within the same query statement okay so that's basically how you can generate multiple uh, tables okay multiple temporary tables okay so uh whenever, whenever we're taking you're using cte's right sometimes you can give it uh we can have an internal name for different columns you can also have ex corresponding external names for that column so uh the correspond the external names for that column are then are the names that will be used to access the co the, the, the specific column from that cte outside of the table that city table to be generated internal table and internal column names are going to be used within the city itself not outside so uh, this can be a bit confusing so let's jump into the code and let me try to explain to you what i mean so uh i'm going to simply going to have a query uh let me just go ahead and uh let's see so we're using the orders table right here we're using the orders table and we've covered everything to the orders table right so let's go ahead and let's say the only thing that we need is we need only the order date right okay we need that's all we need okay we need only the order date so instead of just passing in this i can simply go ahead and say order date so we say order uh order date just like that so i can give it order date and i can just go ahead and execute the query again and let's see what we get so if i execute this we get back the same up with it by just selecting the order the order date right now we can also give it uh we can also let's say let's say we select the order date and let me just see the order table and let's see which other column we can get let's say we get the order date and the customer number okay so let's say the customer number so let's say comma and then customer number so customer number just like that and once you have that i can just highlight this and then run the query again uh so we have an issue it's called col no column uh, called customer okay customer okay with an r not a t so once i have this let me just like this and run it again now we can get back the date and the customer's number okay the, the order date and the customer number so once we have this information this uh, we can give it an, an internal name which we call it let's say ord and let's say ord mm, order order let me say order date just like this or delete and you can also give it to us you can say c number c num just like that so if i go ahead and run this query is it going to work let's run the query and see it gives us an error it says that cta doesn't have the column that we specified right so if you hover on this uh yeah it says uh sometimes it displays and then it just gives you annoying errors to pull out this uh, error code uh the error but basically we don't have a column named cta dot this one so you just have to change it to old order date and then you have to say uh yeah order date 
just like that. So once I go ahead here, I can just simply run the query and now you can see you get back the results. Once you change the name here, this name must also be changed. Now you can decide to give it your own external name. So you can just go ahead and, and, and say after the name of the CTE space and then parentheses, opening and closing parentheses. So you can specify the external name here. So you can say order, uh, order, let me say order uh, date and then you can say C number. And let, if you, yeah, let me just go ahead and change this to be uh, order. Let me just say order date, just a different name. And you're going to say, say C num just like that. So you can see this name right here and these two names right here are different. So this is going to be the name for this. And this is going to be the name for this. But this is going to be the external name and this is going to be the internal name. So you can, if you want to access the, uh, this information, you have to use the external name. So if you don't have an external name, then the internal names will be used as, as the external name as we saw earlier on. But if you have an external name, then the external names will be used as the external name and or and the inner names are going to remain the same. So now if I run this query again, now it's going to work. So if I run the query, now it just works. Let me just change this to be X and this to be Y. Now if I run this, it's going to fail. So let me just run this and uh, see what happens. So run, you can see we get an error right there because then I know which column means that it's going to be X and it's going to be X as well. Now if I run it again, it's going to work. You can see we get back the information right here. Uh, let me just pull this right here so that's the difference between having uh, an internal name and a column an external name so the external names go in here and that's what you use used to access the columns externally with outside of the outside of the temporary table but if you have internal names internal names without external names then the internal names will be used as an external name as well but if you have external names then external names must be used the internal names cannot be used so that's the difference of uh, uh the different name ways you can have you can name our, our tables right here our different table columns right here so cool so once we have that done uh we are good to go so we have looked at the, the external names the internal names and all of that so uh so this the the only only the exposed names uh, can be used to to interact the tables basically these names that we have your exposed names can only be used we cannot use the internal names in case you have this okay i already, I already uh, said that already so I have a query right here. Let me just scroll on the side right here. Just to practice. I have this query right here. And I want to convert this query, uh, write the same query using a CTE. Okay. So I want to write this same query using a CTE. Okay. So let me just go in here. And again, you can just pause the video and try this out because this is practice for you. Once you understand CTEs and how they can be used, pause the video and try to write out the query, uh, the same query using a CTE. Okay. So let me just go here and let's try to generate the same thing using a CT. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete all this. Okay, we don't really need it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and look into this query right here. So the first thing we need to go ahead and do is select a couple of things. Let me just go in here and uh, copy this and go back in here and just simply paste it in here. Okay, so let me just select this and run it and let's see what we get. We get back this report right here and you have a look at how to generate this report, right? Okay. So once we, you can see here, you're using joint and all of that. So what if you use temporary tables instead of having to pull? I uh, just basically practice by practice CTAs by separating this into a temporary two te two temporary tables. Because you're using two tables right here, the orders table and then the order details table. So you need to write CTEs, and that brings us back to our point of having two uh, temporary tables. Okay. Okay. So how do we go about generating this? Okay. So what I want to do is separate this into two different temporary tables so let me just go in here and start writing them so i'm going to say uh, i'm going to have the first one i'm going to say with i'm going to say cte underscore table uh table one uh, and we'll call CTE table one uh let's say it's going to be us and then we're going to go ahead and pass in some queries in here okay so we're going to go ahead and select something from the uh the, the table that you want so we're going to select this is going to be from the order order table. you're going to select the order uh, the order number and then the order date so i'm going to go ahead and say uh, select uh, select I'm going to say select what I want to select is the order number and then the order date and it's going to be from from the orders table so from the orders table okay so I'm going to select the order date and the order number from the orders table and I'm going to go ahead and specify a where a where statement you, you can use a where statement which is basically this right here right so because we have this statement so I'm just taking this right and moving it in here Okay, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so move this and move it uh, in here. That's what I want because I'm registering this this same query. Uh, by before I return this temporary table, I've already filled, done the filtering. That's why I'm filtering it in here. Okay. So once we have the where statement pasted in there, what we have to go ahead and do is update a couple of things. So let's go uh, into our query uh, where we are saying the orders. Now we have to change the orders to be our CTE table one. So CTE underscore table one. 
as orders okay so when you use cte cte underscore table once uh instead uh, as replace the order so because basically we have order you have replaced the order with a, uh, a common table expression a temporary table so once we have this done just go ahead and change orders to now cte okay so just change this part with the cte and again we wrote this code in the last row so if you never access this code you can find all the code in the github uh, link in the description so once i have this i'm just going to go ahead and execute all of this again now you can see we get it it still works perfectly good so now let's go ahead and write a second table expression which is going to be for the order details table okay so we're going to select something from the order details so again i don't need this anymore i can just actually get rid of this okay because we have that already in uh already the data is already filtered out before return to us so uh, we don't have to put that right there so once i have that there just see if i made a, an error anywhere so i'm just going to go ahead and delete all this okay delete all this and let me just delete this comma for now okay so once i have that done let me just go ahead and select the whole query and then run it again now you can see we get back an output good so one now we're done you just go ahead and write the second cte so i'm going to tell you uh you can say cte uh cte cte underscore table two i will give it uh us and then you're going to go ahead and write parentheses and then specify the code in here okay so what code are we going to go ahead and paste? We want to select a couple of columns. That column is going to be the uh, production, this one, this one, this one. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So let's go ahead and select those columns. I'm going to go in here and say, uh, select, uh, select. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to select the order number. I'm going to select the product uh, code. I'm going to go ahead and select the quantity, uh, quantity ordered. I'm also going to go ahead and select the price each column. I'm also going to go ahead and select the order line. I'm just selecting a couple of columns, like order line number, and I'm going to this is going to be from uh this is going to be from this is going to come from the order detail order details table, just like that. So good. So let me just remove the semicolon. Again, we don't use semicolons to work with CTEs, you only use semicolons once you're done with your whole query. Okay. So once we have that, that uh, we are good to go. So now we just have to replace everything. Uh, we have just to replace this order details as our, as our temporary table. That's basically it. So that's all we need to do. And every query remains the same. So if I go ahead and run the query again, we should get back the same result. You can see we get back the same result. Good. So yeah, that's basically it. How you can use CTAs. And you have you seen how to use CT CTAs with multiple tables. Okay. So that's basically how we can use CTAs with multiple tables in uh, mysql again if you have any question about cta's let me know in the comment section below okay so thank you guys for watching again if you're new to the channel please kindly consider subscribing liking this video and sharing this content with anyone who you think might find it helpful again if you want to help me if you want to support me you can buy me coffee the links will be in the description of the video so uh thanks for watching and see you in the next one keep safe